the next question, we have a picture of juice sliding down an incline at constant velocity. So let's see here now one more time. Let's remind ourselves that pulling down the incline is force gravity x. Okay, and going against the object is force of friction. Okay, and of course we do have force normal in this direction. Okay, and our triangle underneath, this would be force gravity in the y direction. Of course, force gravity is straight down. And going in this direction is our force gravity x. Our angle 24 right here is the same as that angle here. Once again, writing our force net equation that always drives our decisions of what we do. This would be force gravity x minus force of friction. Since we are traveling at constant velocity again, we know that the net force again has to be equal to zero because we would say mass times zero is equal to force gravity x minus force of friction. Now what that means is force gravity x and force of friction will be equal to each other. So force gravity x must equal force of friction. We know that force gravity x is mg sine theta. So I do mg sine of the angle theta. And force of friction is force normal mu. But on an incline, force normal is mg cosine theta. And of course, all of this gets multiplied by mu, mu being the coefficient of friction. Now we need to simplify the equation. I've got a mass times gravity here, a mass times gravity here, so that can cross out. So I have sine theta equals cosine theta mu. Now I'll divide both sides by the cosine of theta. We will get a tangent of theta. Let me explain that again. So dividing by cosine of theta on both sides, we will get mu equaling sine of theta divided by cosine theta. Or mu equals tangent of theta. So in this example here, mu is going to equal a tangent of 24.